welcome back guys welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be sharing the best method and 100 percent working method to unlock android application on your windows 10 or 11 with windows subsystem for android and this is the updated method i have already tested on multiple computer so if you follow all the instructions properly without skipping any part then you will be able to successfully install google play store enjoy all kind of application and game of android on your windows pc and laptop so let's quickly get started now first thing that you have to do here you need to enable the virtualization from the bios so to enable the virtualization what you will have to do you need to start your computer in the bios mode and for which you can use a different bios key like f2 escape delete f10 depending that which manufacturer you're using so you can search that on google and start your computer in the bios mode and in case if you have trouble opening the bios then i've already created a video that how you can create a desktop shortcut on your computer that will directly take you to the bios you can watch that video the link will be in the description now once you come in the bios somewhere in the advanced option you have to look for virtualization on intel you can find by the name of virtualization technology or vm machine virtual machine or amd you will find by the name of svm mode that will be in the advanced and in the cpu configuration all right so it can be by the name svm virtualization uh, so you have to look the similar name on your bios and make sure that this option has been enabled so from the right hand side you can click on the drop down and enable this option all right, so once you are done, you can tap on the F10 key, then save the changes and come to your desktop. Now on your desktop, we have to click on your Windows search and type here appwiz.cpl. Hit the enter key. The program and feature box will be up. Now here from the left hand menu option, click on turn Windows feature on or off. And once it comes up, you have to scroll down and you have to look for virtual machine platform. So make sure this option has been checked. And if not, check this option, then click on apply and OK. And this will now be applying the changes. So kindly wait. And once it's been done, again, click on your Windows search, type GP edit. And from the suggestion, click on group policy editor. Now, many of you might have problem opening this group policy editor. If you are using Windows 10 or 11 home edition, then for that, I have already created a video that how you can enable this option of GP edit on your home edition operating system so you can watch that video enable the option and once you enable it once the group policy editor comes up from the left in menu option under computer configuration you need to click on administrative templates then click on windows components and then on the right hand side you will have to find windows powershell so once you get it double click on it and then you will find turn on script execution so you will have to double click on it and a new box will be popping up now here it should be selected to not configured you have to choose the enable the option and then below in the execution policy click on the drop down and choose allow all scripts once done click on apply click on ok and close it so now we are all done with the requirement we are ready to go and install the windows subsystem for android so you will be getting a link in the description of this github website scroll down to the very bottom and under the asset you will find wsa removed amazon link the first link we need to click on it it's around 653 mb so it may take some time so once it's been downloaded it will be downloaded in a zip file so open the folder right click on it extract the folder to the location wherever you want to and once extracted this kind of wsa folder will be coming up open it and here you will find the install file so you will have to make a right click on it and choose run with powershell so now once it comes up it will start loading up the file so kindly wait here until all the process has been completed and then you will see windows subsystem for android and installing so kindly wait here then it will give you windows subsystem for android setting to configure uh, all kind of setting option you can minimize it and then finally you will be getting this kind of google play store option all right so google play is up now now simply you will have to sign in with your google account id so you can sign in either with the 
play store id that has been signed on your android phone or you can sign in with a new id as well i would recommend that you should go ahead and sign in with the same email id that you are using on your android phone so that you can use all the applications all right so let me quickly sign in here and once i will be signed in it will ask me the permission so i will click on accept and now you can see the google play store is up now and it will be working very smoothly without any kind of problem and here you can browse any kind of application any kind of game that you want to and whichever game you want to download like if i download this game that is fifa soccer so you can see the downloading has been started and once downloaded if i click on the play button so you can see the game is now coming up and i can play the game i can enjoy the game similarly if you want to enjoy any kind of android application or game you can follow the same step to download and play it so that's all guys for today hopefully this will also work for you if you apply all the steps carefully you will not be having any kind of problem and if this works for you do not forget to like and subscribe in case if you have any problem let me know in the comment section i will surely reply you back until then take care bye bye